Sending a call to other Jedi through the Force was the second lesson I learned as a Padawan. Mace Windu as a Force user, his abilities included Force-enhanced reflexes and agility and the ability to see the future. Windu was proficient in various forms of telekinesis, which he could utilize as both attacks and defenses. He was capable of easily summoning his lightsaber, as demonstrated on Geonosis when he quickly reclaimed his Jedi weapon by way of the Force before Fett could prevent this. On Ryloth he used the Force to telekinetically pull battle droids in his direction, rendering them vulnerable to a fatal lightsaber attack. He was also powerful enough to levitate individuals, such as two clone troopers whose lives he saved by using the Force to prevent them from falling to their deaths. In addition to the offensive and defensive applications of the Force, Windu could use his connection to the Force to enhance his physical capabilities, allowing him to engage in acrobatics and land jumps from high places without sustaining injuries. He could use the Force to greatly enhance his speed, notably against battle droids. Windu's abilities with the Force extended to mind control, a Jedi technique that allowed the user to exert a considerable amount of influence over weak-minded individuals. Against a person of greater willpower than the average being, however, Windu was forced to combine his effort with Skywalker and Kenobi in order to force Cad Bane's cooperation. Although the initial attempt failed, their combined use of the mind trick technique caused Bane to experience significant discomfort, which nearly damaged his mind in the process. Windu was also skilled in more rare force abilities such as battle meditation and was able to sense shatter points, key moments where actions could change eventually. Additionally, Windu had the ability to communicate with other Jedi through the Force, making it easier for them to find his location.